Today we're going to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on. The client says he can't get onto his computer and he needs some pictures. I'm not sure what he means by not turning on. So we're going to test this today. I haven't done any checks on this just yet. Hey Nim Tags and welcome. This is Ash from Him My Tech helping you improve your relationship with tech. I recorded this video two days ago in a hurry and half asleep. So I missed out some information. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you the rest of that. Check out the timestamps. So we've got the original charger and this is a Toshiba satellite L50-C-244. I'm going to first try to turn the laptop on by pressing the power button. I don't know if there's charge or not and nothing's happening really. So I'm going to plug in the charger and I am going to just turn it on. And we haven't got any movement. So let's check the lights. We have an orange light here at the battery. So if I remove the charger, this is what happens. Okay, the orange light goes away. Plugging the charger in. The orange light comes back on, which is kind of half good news. It means that at least there is some power delivery into the laptop. But with the charger in there, pressing the power button, we've got no signs of life. So does that mean it's completely dead? Not really. If it was completely dead, there'd be no power, no LED light whatsoever. And what is completely dead? It could be the charger. It could be the power you know, module on the motherboard. It could even be the motherboard. But we're going to determine one after the other. So first thing I'm going to do quickly, it's always worth to check for the charger. It's plugged in, OK? I'm going to get my trusty multimeter. And we should be testing for voltage. I believe this charger is about 19 something volt. So on DC, negative out, positive in. And we're getting 19.50. So the charger at least seems to be, you know, okay. Bearing in mind that with a multimeter just like this, we cannot test for amp. So don't always assume 100% of the time that if you're getting DC voltage, corresponding to the value of the charger, that means it's absolutely working fine. It's not always the case, okay? I'm trying to link you a video for how to check for amp below. Okay, so what's the next thing to do? I mean, the classical uh, hard reset might work sometimes. So what you can do is we can press and hold the power button for you know minimum of, I'd say, 15 or even 30 seconds, depending on the manufacturer's instructions. Let's see what happens after this. And... Uh, this should, in theory, discharge all the static electricity in there, okay? We should really do this without the battery, but we're just doing like a quick first, very easy without opening the laptop, okay? So that should be over 30 seconds now. I'm going to plug in the charger again and turn the power button again. We've got the orange light and still nothing. All right. I mean, it could also mean maybe the power button is not working or the connection between the power button and the motherboard is not working it could be anything at this stage however before i get into the laptop itself i'm going to want to remove the battery so charge it out press the power button for a few seconds to discharge any potential static electricity because this battery is actually screwed in we can't just remove that at least it's screwed in as opposed to being inside which is a bit annoying but convenient for manufacturers apparently so that's done let's just remove the battery with some uh, screwdriver i'm going to put links to amazon affiliate products in the description please support the channel it's not going to cost you anything extra thanks a million now we can remove the battery and the first thing i want to do again is discharge the static electricity so we press the power button for about 30 seconds to discharge absolutely everything and once this is done we are going to plug in the charger we should see the orange. Oh, we've got now a white light. Good. So let's turn it on. Et voila. We got the computer back up and running. So it was most probably an issue with this battery, which is dead. It's not holding any charge anymore. And that should be easily fixed by just ordering another of this replacement. Very easy to do. Look, just look at the reference point somewhere. Uh, or you can even check Toshiba's own official recommendation. But we tend to get, you know, um, compatible batteries these days. So that's not necessary. Okay, 
And now for the extra info. Number one, the client left this laptop unused for a long time. So consequently, the battery died out. But in this case, it wasn't just a case of dead battery. I believe this battery is actually faulty, preventing the laptop to turn on. So pro tip, don't leave your laptop unused for a long time. The battery will die out. You should really charge the battery until it's full and then use it until it needs to be charged again. But really and truly, more recent lithium batteries, they benefit more from frequent short chargers than long overdrawn chargers. Certainly do not leave your laptop plugged in, charging and overcharging. This will drain the battery out far quicker. However, the question is, does that mean that for a single orange steady LED light, the issue is always going to be battery related? Not necessarily, probably. This is where you should check with the manufacturer's own troubleshoot guidelines if you can find any, but it's not going to be a one fix for all solution for some makes and models of laptops. Bear that in mind. Number two, the original replacement batteries are definitely overpriced. Shame on you manufacturers. So you can consider compatible ones, but bear in mind if you buy a very cheap battery, like a four cell instead of a six cell, then the four cell will last very little time, very short. I've actually used a few of these and they might not even last uh, for a year on normal use. You get what you pay for. Should you go for original? I wouldn't really, not for an older laptop, but that's up to you. Number three, in this tutorial, I overdid the hard reset steps, half asleep and all. So you don't have to do that many, a couple should do fine. Best to do it without the battery. And last but not least, number four, why do people not back up their personal data? It's no excuse if you're using an electronic device in 2021, actually it's been for a few years, you should be backing up. Come on guys. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's cloud backup. It's no excuse. If you know how to use a smartphone or a computer, you need to learn to use backup. All right. Enough of the excuses. Platforms like YouTube exist for that reason. Stop being lazy. So that's it. We have a couple of platforms like a dedicated Discord server and also a Facebook group. Links below. I've got a couple of admins on there who will hopefully take care of you and also lots of end users like yourself looking for solution and troubleshoot issues. So go and join them. And I'm not going to say I'm back because every time I say that life keeps happening and I'm not talking about the COVID issue. This is there for everybody. This really sucks. This is 2021. So no, I've got personal crap on top of that, which I may or may not share in the future. But the intention for a while has been to start a third platform called Heal My Time. Enough said. We'll take that up in the near future. So that was an easy fix. I'm so glad I didn't have to go into the laptop to check for anything else. Okay, so the client will be quite chuffed. I think he's got Windows 7 on there. I might have to convince him to actually upgrade to Windows 10. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, check on your screens for further tips how to become more apt in tech stuff. As this was Ash from Hill My Tech helping you build a better relationship with tech. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.